Good evening, y'all. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Outdoors with us. That's Bugger and the Red and my Mark. And uh, come down here to Bennett's Archery. Yeah, we're right here at Bennett's Archery down here we in Wee Tumpka. A good bunch of guys. And uh, we're uh, fixing to go shoot the. Both little... made a new purchase since last deer season. Mark finally talked me into getting one of these Matthews. Yeah, he couldn't resist. I got me some new strings on mine. But Buzz got set up. He's got the new updated version of mine. He's got the VXR, and this is the Phase 4. Yep, so, so it's basically it the same bows, except his is just a little bit newer. His has got eight limbs, where mine ain't got but four. And Mark has got a Tacticam added on his, so we're going to do oh, some, yeah. some filming of the hunts this year. We're I got gonna, mine. Had to do, do a little bit of engineering to get it on there, but we got it. We're running a test run this evening to see how it works. Bo's got his tactic cam on his. Yeah, right there. I got the old solo Wi-Fi. Yeah, I got the new. Upgraded to the new one. The 6.0 got the little screen right there on it. So anyway, we're gonna walk around here to the back side of the place and where the uh, targets are. He's got a roughly a 20 round or 20 target uh, course, 3D course. So we're gonna do what we can do with it. Which one? Hold on, I got the target bit out there. Yeah, I'll show y'all in just a second. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, let me get zoomed in. That is the arrow target of death. That is the destroyer 10,000. That is a steel target there. And if anybody wants to shoot it, they'll put a uh, one of the foam inserts into it for right there where that hole is cut out. I wonder if they had an insert went in it or so, shot through to the abyss. So anyway, we are... Uh, each one of the spots where you stand at is marked with one of these yellow blocks. And, uh. That, that first target kind of off kilter to you. Let's see. I believe that's going to be our first target right there. I'm not for sure. Yeah, let's see what kind of yard is reading we can get so, on. We can do what we can do with it. Shooting at the old deer right there. Won the last round. I got the dead on the money. Twelve. Our arrows were almost touching. Touching. Let's see what I can do with this fire. He's at uh, 62 yards. Maybe a touch low. solo cam it's got a zoom on it eight times so I believe Bo's got a little bit better than I did we'll see all right let's see what we're doing well mine's just pitiful well all right just to give you an idea on the scoring the kill zone that they have outlined on them is uh outside of it's eight this circle here in is 10 and these little circles right here most of them just has one but some of them's got three this one has three and uh 
they're 12 points. So I got the 12 on the last one. I touched it. And I touched a 10, but I got an 8 on this one. Yeah, and I got a... And outside of it, anywhere on the body is just a 5. So, we didn't do too bad. On to the next one. I keep forgetting I got a taxi cam on this thing, so we'll go find out and see what it was. All right, y'all. We got the pronghorn antelope at 50 yards bug shooting you good where you at bug you need I'm to move good. over i'm good i'm gonna go right by this tree center it and hit him right in the head <laughs> bounce off of that other tree over there good shot all right y'all we're gonna do a sound comparison that was his bow right here beside me so i'm gonna mm -hmm. let him film while i'm shooting mine all right y'all let me get down here on this target. Alright, here we go. Right beside my arrow almost again. I, I keep forgetting I got a tactic cam on this thing, so <laughs> we'll go find out and see what it was. Alright, y'all stay tuned. Alright, y'all. Well, let me zoom out here. There you go. That's, you, that's some good shooting, y'all. You couldn't ask for no better than that right there. Both of us, 12 on. Dead on it. So now we got to flip a coin and see who's going to shoot first this time. I'll let you shoot first this time. I shot first last time. Oh, uh, okay. All right, well, on to the next victim. After walking 100 yards down here. Yeah, what it feels like. You got closer to the 10 than me, so I'll let you go next first time, too. <laughs> Both got eight on it. We hit a little bit far forward. We wasn't real sure where the kill zone was, so. This thing's slanted downhill, yeah. so I kind of thought it had been a little closer to his leg. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a leopard. Cheetah, I don't know. Big hoodie kind of cat. Spotted mountain lion thing. So anyway, but you see our, how close we hit to each other. Not even hardly a finger between them. So anyway, on to the next one. All right, y'all. Not sure how well you can see the coyote down there. But uh, I'm shooting that one. basically three trees. All right, Bugs, up to shoot. Here we go. I don't know where he hit, but he hit close. All right, we got a fallow deer this time. 44.4 yards. 44 yards. This thing zooms in way too much, so for that. Best thing is you can move this target and get dimmer light and you can brighten the corner of it without having to get tighter. That's right. Right, mark it. Here we go. 45 yards right at it. Dead fella. Well, at least I remember not to drop my arm too bad that time. I'm going to try to get this follow up shot. Sorry y'all, we keep forgetting the video from one end to the other. So here's the fallow deer we just shot. Bug said this is his first palmetto fallow. First fallow deer. <laughs> I'll put him on the wall later. Uh so there's mine. Hit a little bit back on it. There's your ten ring. He's just outside of so I still got I got still got lungs. Look at that twelve. Bug got the twelve that time. Got total penetration through this thing, so I think I'll be out on white tails this year. Yeah, mine didn't go through, but that's probably a lot more shot than where I was hitting that. Probably but is. that don't make no difference. I done pulled some of mine out already. I know. <laughs> I'm of eating you. Yeah. Yeah, bug got that's some penetration, yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> bug shooting a 28 inch. 20, 27 and a half. 27 and a half. I'm trying these Eastern 6.5s this year. Of course, I'm still shooting the FMJs. Uh, 20. Really good luck with them FMJs over the 20. 
29 inch at, uh, let's see, 11.5 grains per inch, 250 spine. Mine's 300 spine. Yeah. Anyway, we're on to the next victim. All right, y'all. Well, we pulled the arrows out before we realized, before we thought about doing the filming part, but we stuck them back in there. Shot better, isn't it? Didn't I did. We thought that was all the kill zone, but this turkey got a lot of kill zones. And bug ain't even touched none of them. And uh, if you get down up under here, Mark actually got an eight. Yep, eight out of the ten, out of the twelve. And I'm up here in the body somewhere. So, bug would have cut his head off at the base of the neck, roughly, somehow. But either way. This was at 35 yards, I believe it was. Super penetration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, before we could stick it in there with our hand. <laughs> so, anyway, on to our next round. All right, Joe. Let me go see what you did. All right, we got a flop here. Let's see what you did. Just about that one. Yep, just about it. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Yeah. Well, at least you didn't hit my air that time. Let's go see what we're doing. All right, John. Oh, Damn. Well, bug, uh, bug killed the wolf. I just ain't. I hit a little bit. Well, I shot way far back. I was. Well, I was thinking it was back here too. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get by his air this time. What do I get? That would be a ten. Show sure in, I got a five. So Bo get to shoot first next round. Oh well, on, back on the next victim. Oh, I see my ugly mug now, hey, Bo. <laughs> hey guys. Anyway, shooting on the back side of a pond. In case I was wondering, there's the dam right there. It's straight up that mountain, up that trail. It's probably what good 12, 15 foot back About of it. 40 yards away to this yep. target, give or take. Nice place here, though. And on we go to the next one. All right, something you don't get around here very often is a baboon. It's a bug fixing them. Far off. Here we go, guys. You ain't even draw a bag. What about here we go? Taking a baboon to David. All right, here we are. Well, that's how you killed that baboon. That's pretty cool. I couldn't even see the baboon. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Hold on. Here right. we go. Here goes Mark shooting now. Great day in the morning. I forgot to shoot. All right, y'all. Mark's going to shoot at the baboon. Don't pay attention to the green up there. That's a oops. I forgot to adjust my sights. And that's what happens if you don't do it in the woods. It is one thing about using one pin sights. You've got to adjust them. That's better. Right beside mine. All right, y'all. Well, I give him a ear piercing if he'd had a ear. <laughs> but there's the actual shot I done. Bug got, got a. I got full penetration. I'm gonna move. Bug pokes me in the head with that arrow. Well, I barely got a. He got the lung, looks like, or something. That's barely an eight. Yeah. Eight. You got an eight, and I got a. I got an eight. Yep. So. Oh, that, ain't yeah. too, that ain't too bad. Nope. Got Other than I about there. took his head off. I guess the Grim Reaper might have peeled his wig back for him. That's what we <laughs> shoot. So, anyway, on to the next one, I guess. Alright, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's an alligator hiding in them bushes right there. It's at, it's at 40 yards. So, bug fixing to see what he can do with it. Good shot. 
Well, the gator shot wasn't much better. Well, I forgot to film it before we pulled the arrows out, so we didn't go back. This first shot was better than the second, but my second shot was better than my first shot. So, anyway, well, I'll just turn it back around. There's bugs. There's a gator way, way up there. I hit a little high on the last one, and he hit good, and I hit low, uh, better on the first one. So, anyway, it is what it is. On to the next one. All right, y'all, we didn't do the shot, but here's a wolverine. And uh bug got in the eight. It was home with a little bit lower. Yeah, I got, uh, looks like uh, I got the 10 ring. Yep. So not bad, not bad at all for either one of us. That's okay. a dead wolf, wolf or marine. I aim for that crease like you're supposed to, but it ain't, it ain't the same on a wolverine. No, no, since we got so many of them around here. Yeah. But, uh. But Either way, a, a two-inch penetration at a three-inch total cut Grim Reaper. We're using the, uh, the yeah, the Grim Reaper two-inch special cut. Mm -hmm. So you white, got three blades tail. at two-inch cut, and uh, the I think it's the white tail special. Yeah, white yeah. tail special would be. Uh, yeah. Like a razor tip. Razor yeah, tip. I got the. Uh, we're using the razor tip. They got the razor cut, but uh, the razor tip, it's got razor blades inside of it. And uh, you can actually replace them. The razor cut, you can't. It's just if you mess it up, you just throw it away. So, yeah, we're just out here trying these bows. So, on to the next target. Next one's gonna be the one that eats one of my arrows. <laughs> so, payback. we're gonna go get payback on it. All right, Joe. There's a big Mufasa right there. Bo, you going first or you want me to? This is the one I lost the arrow on last time. He's at 60 point one yard. Hopefully he's fixing to see it. At least one arrow in. There's some bugs in this car. There's something wrong. I know I didn't just drop my arm that much. But here goes bug. happy with our shot and this deer just claimed an arrow of mine I found the arrow but it's stuck about three inches into a tree root so yeah so this one's technically lost and found but I did get the luminot back so that's a plus so all right bugs up to shoot again Well, y'all, this is the results. My 60 pin is not my 60. There's the one I just, the second one I just shot. There's the first one. They buried up into that tree. I know what we're going to do. We're going to 
going to check that bag target at 60 and see how low your 60 is. Yep. So I'm going to pull the Luminoc out of this one. I'm not shooting it again. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, let's see, that's uh, $17.50 a piece laying right there. No, $18.50. And fifty cents. Got your luminot back. Yeah, if uh, yeah, if I couldn't get the luminot back, it'd be another ten bucks added on to it. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I thought I had my sixty sided in good at, at the house, but guess I was wrong. Oh well, pull this out and go on about our business. Well, this was bug shot from sixty yards. We tracked this joker for a hundred and twenty yards. I ain't never seen this big old thing. Good gracious. Oh, he's huge. Stand right there. Go stand around on behind it, Buzz. See how wide it's spread. 480 pound deer. I don't know what deer this is supposed to be, but my lord. He's a big one. He's a nice one. He's got some mass. Look at that. I can't even wrap my fingers around him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he looked good above the mountain. Ain't nothing like killing foam. <laughs> foam targets. But he did do a good shot on it from 60 yards. He's just a touch outside the kill, but he still got lungs. Them grims would eat him up. Oh, yeah. Did not penetrate through this big fat joker. No, no, mine didn't either. So, that was easy. anyway, so now we know that my 60 is not set. It will be before we leave here. Yep. Well, all right, we're going to the next victim, which is got a goat right over yonder. It's that white speck you see is a goat. All right, y'all. Well, got, he got me on that one. I got in the lungs. Boy, so I got eight. I'm not going to say everybody needs a Matthews bow, but I can tell y'all. I don't know if it's the sight or the bow or what it is, but that bow is so balanced and shoots so good, it has really increased my uh, accuracy and all. Yeah. So I, I don't know. He's done real good. I ain't no doubt about it. I know it did mine when I got it. So there's nothing wrong with other bows. I've shot them all, not saying that, but if you get a chance to shoot a Matthews, don't be like me, don't procrastinate, just go shoot it. Yeah. So anyway, we got that done. We didn't miss this time. Got us a big ram looking goat thing. I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, it's a big mountain goat, looks like. We didn't have to climb a mountain. No, thank goodness. But Somewhere uh, out there or up yonder or in the atmosphere is my air from last time we have no idea we thought we hit the goat with it mm -hmm. we heard it but just go eat it oh yeah i guess it did anyway next target we don't have but about uh three more don't know if we'll film any more of them or not so anyway on we go All right, y'all. Uh, the kill zone is there. Yeah, yeah. And I hit there on my second shot, and I hit way down here on my other one. And Bug hit low on it, too. So, Bug going to reshoot it since I already shot it. So, he going to do her again. And I may just stand right here and stand just off to the side a little bit. He going to holler at me when he gets ready to shoot. I may put it in slow mode to see how it does. All right, y'all. I don't know how the slow mode's gonna do, but he hit a little bit forward on it, but he still got in the in the lung. That time tickled. 
Oh yeah. I think we got one more down here. Yep, yeah, got one more deer. We'll be through with this. We, then we're gonna check our pins right quick and make sure my 60s where it's supposed to be or if not, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. So we can't have that happen no more. Nope, don't like it. Mm -mm. Ours is too expensive. All right, y'all. This is gonna be the end of another video. We hear it leaving Bennett to archery there it's about dark we got my 60 zoom back in or 10 back in yep shot these bows got several rounds off I think we had a had a good round there's 20 targets and uh some of them we shot twice at so we've shot in a neighborhood of around 30 rounds into the targets give or take yep. and then uh we went behind this building here he's got a uh just regular bat, uh, foam target set up from uh, 20 yards all the way out to 60. Yep. So we checked my 60, and yep, it was hitting uh, probably about a good 8, 10 eight, inches eight low. 10 inches low, no doubt. So we got that uh, adjusted. Feel pretty confident on it. So yep. we'll uh, come back and seek revenge on that. That's MJ right. Taking deer back in. That's right. That tree took eat two. Uh, we know the roots eat two uh, of the uh, arrows. And there's another one hid in there somewhere. I lost the luminoc and everything on it, so. I, I got my redemption, so. Yep, so. I nailed that old goat. Yeah, we didn't video nothing last time we come up here. And I uh, lost a few. Well, he lost, I lost one, and he lost, and I lost a fletching on one. A, and uh, he lost four. Four, yeah. yeah four, lost, four, lost four, broke them, whatever the case was. So yeah. anyway. If y'all ever need a good archer shop to come to. Yes. And you're around with Tonka, come check out Bennett's Archery. Yep. And I, uh, I highly recommend them. Before I close out the video completely, I'll try to get the uh, address, his phone number, and everything, and add it to the uh, add it on here for you they, at the end of the do, video. They do their own strings and all. So yep. if y'all need any kind of tune up on anything, that's right. On that, he, uh, check them out. They're a Matthews dealer, but they do take trade ins on their bow, on bows yep. and uh, what have you. And uh, what else is it, Bug? They uh, they, they, they do give uh, they, they give uh, classes like yeah. if you want to learn how to shoot, they will do yep. classes for you. I don't know the prices on it. If you need any tune ups or any strings for any mm -hmm. bow, they'll do just about any of them. It ranges anywhere from uh, around $120, I think, up to $150. Yep. They got everything from cases to targets to broadheads to arrows. Yep, so. and your stabilizers, your quivers, sights, whatever, sights. Whatever and uh, when they make your strings, they make them all here himself, and he pre-stretches them for about a day. So they're trying to uh, spring back. They're, yeah, they're not wanting to stretch. They're wanting to spring back into the original shape where he stretched them. So they, they last a lot longer, and they don't really stretch on you that much. So he just redone mine and all. So, but anyway, y'all, uh, y'all have a good weekend. And like I said, I'll try to remember to put their uh, address there and all on here before uh, before I close out the video completely. See y'all later. God bless.